This video is going to be your one-stop shop for all the leaks that have been happening for Halo Infinite as of recent. We're talking campaign AI within Forge, the Falcon returning so many new maps that look amazing as well, and so many more of them, but I've compiled all of them within this video, guys. So if you like this kind of news and informational stuff, make sure you tap that like button. Let's know you want to see some more content like this, and it helps out the content against the all famous YouTube algorithm. And make sure you subscribe to keep yourself up to date with everything going on with Halo. So let's get right into the details. So let's talk about the new hotness of leaks that's coming around right now for Halo Infinite, and that is campaign AI available within Halo Infinite's Forge. Now, I do want to say I won't be able to showcase any of these leaks as Microsoft has been reportedly been taking down channels and content due to these leaks, and they're not very happy about it, so I don't want to risk my channel. But I'll try to show what I can. So if you guys remember, 343 did say in a blog that they are currently working on having campaign AI be able to be placed into Forge. And it does seem to be the case right now. Very similar to how people kind of hack their slash leak their way into Forge. Well, they're doing the same thing now with campaign AI. One video in particular showcases a sea of grunts on the map fragmentation. And they just jump in and just start mowing all of down and hearing all these grunts yelling and taunting at the same time and dying. All their screens and stuff like that. It's just hilarious. So you can place a lot of AI down all at once, at least right now in the leaked version of this. You can also place down characters that we've seen confirmed of the Brutes and Elites. I haven't seen anything else at the moment, but I would assume that the greater suite of banished characters you can spawn in for this long awaited feature within Halo Infinite will be available once it does launch. Now, when will it launch? We're not totally sure. 343 has never put out a release date when it comes to Campaign AI Forge. I would say at the earliest we could see this would be season four, unless you decide the shadow drop is during season three. But my assumption is that it would most likely be at the end of the year as campaign AI is incredibly complex and trying to put that into an easy to use user experience. Forge does have nav mesh for your AI Spartans that you put them into the map. So this is very possible. And like I said, no official word from 343 about this yet, but as soon as we do, I'll let you guys know here on the channel. Next on the leak list here, guys, is a new map called engine which we've reported on previously but this is the first time we've had some concrete images to actually look at now again i can't show this because it's elite content but believe me when i say this map is 99 percent done and it looks really freaking cool because it's a banished theme map with like lava trench going around the outside of it surrounded by molten rock think of like a banished base on top of a lava field from hawaii looks to be a very much in a large ring structure with a center platform as well now i wouldn't expect engine to be shadow dropped during season three we already know that we're getting oasis and cliffhanger for the season which was showcased previously by 343 but once we get some more information about engine I'll share with you guys here on the channel. A double barrel shotgun looks to be coming into Halo Infinite as well, which is going to be the first time we've ever had that type of a shotgun. But the interesting thing about this, it looks like there's like a gravity hammer head attached to the shotgun, which can be very interesting. And we've actually seen this shotgun previously from some Halo Infinite concept art, which I can show you this right here. And this is basically what the weapon looks like, which is gonna be really cool. Especially since we need like a high power, one hit wonder kind of shotgun, which is sorely be missed right now within Halo Infinite, as all we have is the Bulldog shotgun, which I have fun with, I do enjoy, though it's not the classic shotgun. Though with this being double barrel shotgun, I don't really expect it to play out like the classic shotgun. It might have a similar range, but in damage output, it might not be as great as most likely you have to shoot two shots and then you got to reload. My biggest question about this shotgun is why is there a gravity hammer head at the end of it? So this is going to have to do something interesting within the sandbox. Like, why is that on there? My guess is that it would have to have some type of gravity hammer effect tied to this shotgun. So could we see some one hit melees with this weapon in particular? Well, again, once we get some more information about it, I'll share with you guys here on the channel. We've also seen huge progress made to the Falcon, which is going to be coming into Halo Infinite. This is pretty much all but true now at this point. Previously, we covered it on the channel, but it was more just like, oh, there is a Falcon within the game. But a lot of things are within the game files that definitely will make it to the full release. Like we've seen like the classic shotgun, we've seen the saw, but they're all like Halo 5 models. And we saw an untextured version of the Falcon that functioned a little differently, but it was so early that it was tough to tell you if it was even going to be put into the game. Well, now I'm all 100% certain that it will be making it into the game eventually, as right now the texturing has been updated where it looks completed. And this Falcon is going to be very different from what your traditional Falcon is, as this Falcon actually holds five passengers instead of three. One driver, two passengers on the side that can just use like their assault rifles or whatever. And then another two passengers, one side has the machine gun, the other side 
has the grenade launcher. So it's kind of like all aspects of the Falcon put together into one vehicle. And that's gonna be very interesting to see how it plays out within big team battle or potentially a rumored battle royale mode that might be coming at the end of this year, or early next year that we've talked about previously on the channel. But again, we'll just have to wait and see. The Falcon is one of my all time favorite vehicles within the Halo franchise. I used it all the time within Halo Reach. I always found it so much fun to actually fly around and you can do so many interesting things with the sandbox with that vehicle. And if you played it right, it was absolutely lethal. And the visual art style of this Falcon looks to stay very true to the traditional Falcon. This doesn't look like a 343 version of the Falcon. This looks like the Falcon that you think of in Halo Reach, but this time in Halo Infinite. So that's exactly what I want. And I'm very excited about it. Though I would expect the earliest we could see this vehicle come in would be season four, but it might be pushed to season five. But that's pure speculation. But if once we get some more information, I'll let you guys know here on the channel. While we're on the topic of time frames, there actually was a leaked out in a way prediction map roadmap provided by Sir Asia who is one of the most credible leakers out there when it comes to Halo Infinite content. And he does state that there might be a surprise release within season three when it comes to a new arena map. Same for new maps, we'll have season three of Oasis, which was showcased by 343, that big large desert map, Cliffhanger, which was already showcased by C343, but then another map called Chasm. And we've covered Chasm previously on the channel here, but it's styled in the way of like going within the interior of Zeta Halo. So it's very much like an interior forerunner type of structure with some floating platforms here and there two long hallways with like connecting hallways outside of them as well. And three center platforms connecting the two parallel hallways, but you could definitely fall off to your death on that one. But it's gonna be look very clean and pristine, but very forerunner like. Season four, we'll see the maps of Engine and Crystal Caves. Like Engine, we talked about previously here, but Crystal Cave is another map that's been seeing some leaked images going around online. Again, just do a Google search. You'll find it pretty easily. This is gonna be a map that's gonna be themed off of a mining location from the Banish where they gather the crystals needed to create the Needler ammunition. So I would expect to see some alien type structures on this map, which I think is incredibly needed for the variety of maps for Halo Infinite. Season five will likely see the maps of Wasteland and Forest. Wasteland being a big team battle map that's themed off of Zeta Halo, that one section where it looks very destroyed and burnt up and stuff like that. Well, think of that as a big team battle map. I'm sure they'll probably modify it in a way to where it's much more functional and not so wide open like that area is but it will be kind of in that theme. So another Zeta Halo type of map. Forest was another leaked map that we've seen some images of. It looks very much like H2A Sanctuary vibes on this one when it comes to the visual art style. Now when it comes to the layout, there isn't much known about that map, but it does look very cool. And season six being the map of Beltway, which is an arena map and Frigate, which would be our BTB map. Now, according to a previous leak by Bath Row Spartan that we covered here on the channel, guys, saying that Beltway is going to be a mix of Halo 2's turf and Halo 4's perdition in an art style put together kind of thing. So think of much more of a city type of environment set in the future where Frigate is going to be a remake of the map Avalanche, but instead of it being a forerunner structure, it's going to be a UNSC Frigate that crashed into Zeta Halo, especially with the Halo Infinite Sandbox allowing more freedom of movement. We'll see if it'll be less choke pointy with this version of Avalanche, but again, we'll just have to wait and see. Let me know in the comments what you guys are most excited about when it comes to these leaks. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to tap that like button. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.